Farmer, hi, how are you doing? I hope some of my soccer friends are watching. I really was thinking of you guys since our game on Sunday, it's October 2021, playing outside and kind of hanging out afterward, getting to know people. Just such a pleasure. You know, it really is. And shout out to whoever wants to watch. Of course, Constance, my faithful friend. Um, just met Julie. Of course, there's Esther and Min and Allison and Kimber. I'm just thinking of so many names of wonderful women. Um, Amory. Oh, God, there's just so many, just so many people that have become special to me just because of how crazy it gets out there. Did you know that playing soccer is a place where you can get more human growth hormone? Yes, and because one of the ways we get that, the main way we get it is by sleep. We can talk about that another time. But human growth hor hormone is happens in the brain um, in pituitary when we are running hard, when we are going crazy, when we are being chased by the tiger, that feeling. And we do that when we play soccer. I know you guys know that, but you know that's a great benefit. It's one of the reasons you kind of get high off of it. It's not a runner's high, it's a different one. It's human growth hormone. It, the human growth hormone kind of lasts for like into the next day. Even though you're sore, you just feel this a little bit of euphoria, that's what it is. And it's literally making you younger, especially when you're a little older like a lot of us are. So what? And you know, when we play this game, Everybody feels it. Everybody feels the fun and liking each other. And it's not like you have to be the best or anything. And I think that's because we're women. We're, we're not so on the edge. But we're very competitive and play hard. So I want you to know that when well, you're chasing somebody, and especially me, because I have stress incontinence from having all my kids, it's worth it. It's really worth it. You just got to you know, take care of yourself. But the other thing we encounter when we do these things are aches and pains. Some of them are normal muscle pain, which you get after exertion, we all know about that. And we drink water, we rest, we take 24 hours off. That's how we fix that. Well, sometimes it will still be sore for a few days. Um, drinking extra water. But the, there's a couple different kinds of inflammation that happen in the body. One is, of course, when you cut yourself, right? But the one that I see that we need to learn more about is the systemic inflammation, the silent inflammation. And the problem with that is you don't recognize it until we start to lower our, um, our main hormones as we, even at 35, they start to go down. But then when you're postmenopause like me, they're down, right? So we, we don't have the protective agents of those hormones anymore and we have the cumulative effect of systemic inflammation which I've experienced myself uh, I've raised in my hips knees and back I had a hip replacement that's another story and but the way that I learned the hard way is to change my diet to eat in an anti-inflammatory style one of the things we don't know about that will decrease systemic infl inflammation is to avoid seed oils and to avoid, of course, trans fats. We all know those are in Lay's potato chips, but a lot of times when you see a label, it'll say zero trans fats. But this is the label game, people. The label game that is played constantly with what, we're, what they're allowed to sell, what we eat. For example, with something that says zero trans fats, that what they do is they say, well, well we can have uh, 1% up to 1% point something percent of trans fats and we can still call it zero. This is the like the regulations of, of labeling. Yet what they'll do is they'll have per serving how much trans fats per serving and they'll have it labeled as zero. But then when you look at the serving, it's literally like 10 potato chips, 10, you know, so nobody's going to eat just one or even just 10. So we have to pay attention. And the best way to do that is to just rule out, begin to rule out anything that comes in a box that stays good in your uh, cupboard forever. Getting away from those. Anything that's in a box, that's in a bag, any of those crackers, any of those, any cereals, any of that has, hello, my dear. Hello. Speaking of soccer, Constance is here. Um, do you want to say hi? I'm, I'm making this mainly for like to give the soccer people. Remember this one? Hello. Little hot shot. 
But so I'm talking about aches and pains. So eating live food, live food. Uh, of course, you know, we want to eat everything that we can that is live. And then also avoiding the nightshades, the gluten, grains, and excess sugar. Um, any kind of fructose, you have got to keep that on the low, even if it's healthy fruit. So what we want to do is keep that pH high, right? We don't want to have a low pH. We want to do that by eating greens and by drinking a lot of water and by resting, okay? So those things will help us. And if you're suffering, good, because then you're going to figure it out. You're going to say, I can't do this anymore like I did. I have to change my ways. I have to change. No more beer. Hey, girl. Hi. Um, no more um, bread, but there's so many good substitutes out there. You know, you just you just don't have to deprive yourself. There's so many good things out there. We are blessed. Even if maybe prices are going up, you can still find foods that are healthy for you and it's totally worth it. All right, so let's get our bodies in symmetrical, uh, strong shape. What we do, for example, when we play soccer is we're doing running, right? We're leaning forward, we're hunched forward. I remember when Constance first began doing uh, Pilates with me, which was several years ago now, she had a forward shoulder position, which she carried with her. But now she's got this lovely open shoulder, just beautiful, correct body, unbelievable. And then my friend, uh, Kristen, who's here, just beautiful body, even though she has certain uh, curvature in the spine. You wouldn't even know it, and she's running a marathon next week for Detroit in Detroit. Just a 5K. Just a 5K. She doesn't want to break. But, yeah, that's a lot, you know. And All right, so you guys are standing, so let's stand, and I'm going to go ahead and do our hamstring stretch to begin because I was trying to show that to some of the women um, at the field the other day because, you know, those hamstrings pull so darn easy, don't they? So what we want to do is stand really tall. Let's go through posture. Posture is the isometric exercise that you can use any time, okay? Use posture as an exercise. Lifting through the sternum, bringing the shoulders down behind you, scooping the tummy, tucking the tail slightly, not too much, just enough so that it's kind of feeling like it's pointing straight down. We are lifting up through the heels. We're pushing the soles into the carpet. Now, we're going to bring those arms up and correctly place the shoulders, press the shoulders down. So the upper body core is the shoulder blade placement. So we want to push the shoulders down, open the chest. I'm going to give you the side angle. Here's what we're doing. We're standing tall. We're inhaling. We're standing even taller as we push the shoulders down and exhale and lift through the sternum. So we're really locking in that proper form to begin. Now we're going to tip only at the sit bones. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the sit bones. Lift the jaw. Bring the shoulder blades together. You see, I'm kind of looking like a kid who's trying to be, pretend to be an air, airplane. Now, as you see my arms, they are straight up, parallel with the shoulders. But what we often do is we pull them back. So, Constance, bring your arms all the way up to T and stretch them forward toward the face. Yes. Now we're going to stay. Inhale. Exhale. Lift through the tail. Come down a little more without punching the back. See what my back is doing? It's not rounded, it's lifted. It's like sort of like the shape of a hammock. Now I want you to push back into the left leg and bend the right knee slightly. Lift up through your sit bone on the left side and you're gonna feel a beautiful hamstring stretch. Now if you tip side to side into that, you're even gonna stretch it better. Static stretching is not as effective as stretching while you're moving your body, so let's slightly Lift at that sit bone, don't hunch that lumbar, and I want you to feel that stretch in the back of your left leg, the upper back of the leg. You feel it right up through the sit bone, lifting your tail. Now we're going to switch, inhale, exhale, straighten the right leg, bend the left knee slightly. Now the reason we're doing this is because a lot of us have a difference in length in the legs. So if we're stretching evenly, the short leg is getting the, the short end of the stick, so to speak. So we don't want to neglect to evenly stretch through the hamstrings before and after running or playing soccer. Before and after that marathon. All right, so let's lift up through that right sit bone. Breathe. Exhale, lift your jaw. Pick up your tailbone like you're trying to lift your tail like my little dog does. Okay, lifting up through the sit bone on the right side, I want you to 
sway back and forth, side to side. Feel what you feel in there. Does it feel different from the other side? Really, mine feel a little different on each side. So you're dressing imbalances here, you guys. This is a great stretch to do at least three times a week. Now we're gonna end in a sort of a finale, inhale. Bend both knees, round the rear, let those heavy arms fall and hang all the way down. I want you to really release, hanging down. Let your head sort of flop forward. Okay, now I'm just adjusting the camera here. Everybody's still hanging forward, hanging forward. Now we're gonna talk into that position. It's a fantastic position. As we're hanging forward, we're gonna release through the base of the skull, okay? so. Picture that, feel that area right at the top of the collar and release those muscles through the base of the skull. We're gonna release through the shoulders, breathe. Exhale, feel those arms falling off your body, okay? Let the crown of the head fall. Stay right there for a couple more breaths, see it? Exhale, remember your head is like a wrecking ball in a chain. The women that are here tonight, they have really learned, their bodies have learned to release. It takes practice to release that neck, especially for a lot of us who just carry tension there. It's just what we do. Let's do one more breath and we're inhaling, exhaling, release through your belly, relax your belly, feel that lumbar length and release the day. All right, now stay right there, ladies. We're gonna go to the back of our mats and we're gonna walk those hands forward, bend your knees, and go into your long stretch and Pilates plank and yoga. Flatten your back, holding this plank. If this bothers you, you're gonna modify by bending your knees, but bring your tail down, okay? We're gonna do some push-ups here. I'm doing the modified first. See how the Pilates push-ups go slowly. I want you to create weight, exhale on the lift, and feel your arms working hard. Okay, if it's easy to do the modified, then do, do what's more difficult. Upper body is crucial. We wanna keep balance and strength for the rest of our lives, right? Exhaling on the lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale, slow lift. If you have to pause and rest, join us. When you've paused and rested, don't quit. Just give yourself a little break because next time you do the video, you're gonna do all of them along with us. Great job, exhaling on the up. Let's do one more and we come up. Now we're gonna bring our tail down into our shell stretch, release breath and breathe in big. Exhale, let the entire body fall forward. We're hanging forward, releasing the back. Now we're gonna feel the lung expansion. Inhale, pushing the air into the ribs in your back, the thoracic breathing. We breathe again and then we exhale. Now hunch your lumbar, roll up slowly, looking down, stack the vertebra. The way that we move the spine is crucial. We want to keep that spine flexible. All right, let's sit with our legs in front of us. We're going to start with our um, coming forward into spine stretch forward. Okay, that's a classic Pilates movement. Flexing the feet, sitting tall. Now this right here is not easy, you really feel that stretch. Lift up the arms, lift up the chest, we're coming forward three times, inhale. Exhale, four. Now pulse, two, three, four. Stack vertebra, feel that C curve roll up, inhale. Two, two, three. Reaching forward with the crown of the head, roll it back up, shoulders down, lift through the sternum. Exhale, four, good. Two and three and four, roll up. Okay, we're gonna change it up now. Let's bend the knees, lie down on our backs. A couple of upper, ab cur upper abdominal curls and we're gonna just go for it. I'm gonna give you a couple of di different ones you can modify. Inhale, bring the chin down first. Pull that tummy in and lift the body on the exhale. Let's pulse here. Feel that? Let's keep pulsing it. I want you to really crunch your tummy. Feel that, this is what we want. Want to activate that crunch, right? Little pulses. Breathe in big. Breathe out bigger. Roll down, take a little rest. Now I'm going to challenge you to bring one knee at a time into the chest, reach both legs up. We're going to come up and do the same thing. 
Keep your lumbar spine on the mat. If it's too much, do the one with your knees down and the feet on the floor. Inhale. Nod your head. Curl up and pulse. Just feel that. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four, and out. Feel your abs. Do you feel sore yet? Mine do. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more complete for us. Big inhale and out. One. Out. Bring those knees in. Let's rock up and sit. Okay, blow and curl up. Beautiful. Now we're going to find our thing called balance point. We're going to balance right in front of the, uh, the sternum. That's where our weight is behind the tail. Now we're going to make ourselves small. This is rolling like a ball. It's classic Pilates. Tuck the chin. Good for the back. Bring those shoulders from here to here. Now we go. Ball. Tight. Exhale. Roll up. Inhale. Fall. Tight. Exhale. Up. Keep yourself as tiny and still and stable as you can. Exhaling on your roll forward. Everyone challenges themselves here. If this is awkward, bring those legs forward and let yourself be a little more open with it. Okay? That's easy. Make yourself smaller. Fantastic exercise for the back. All right. Good job. Let's sit up tall. Take the legs apart. Flex the feet. Hands behind the back. It's also what I see in, in uh, soccer a lot is that back gets kind of stretched forward and the front gets kind of small, especially in the taller women. All right, so we're going to open up that beautiful chest and squeeze our shoulder blades together. We're going to use the roller at the end. You're going to love it for that. We're going to breathe. Exhale, lengthen up through the sternum. That's how lifting from the center as you, and also lift through the ears. See how I'm not looking up? My chin comes down. And I'm opening that chest. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. Now we're going to lift the arms up and keep the shoulders right where they are. We're going to rotate and pulse. Keep the shoulders stable. Don't let them move. Inhale. Rotate. One, two, three. Great for the back. Inhale. Exhale. Tall, tall, tall. Now in here, we go further with each pulse. One, two, three. Three, but do the best you can. Do not compromise. One, two, three. The shape of this T. And exhale. Two, three. Feel your back do work here. And one, two, three. Open. Inhale. Exhale. Open. Left side. One, two, three. Come back to center. Bend your right elbow. Let's do some of these, you guys. We're just going to pretend we're nudging someone with that right elbow. And push. Two, three. Open, bend, open, bend, and lift with each pulse. I want you to give it a good crank. You can't hurt yourself on these. Really great. Here we go. And one, two, three, open, bend. You feel it? Really, really staying tall on these. One more set. Two, three, open, bend. One, two, three. Bring those arms out. We're going to do the classic saw in Pilates, stretching and twisting those lats. Twist to the right, reach, exhale, now pulse three, one, two, three, look up right, come to center, turn, exhale, and lift, center, inhale, twist, and down, and lift, and center, and twist, and one, and two, and three, and tall, and middle, and twist, and and lift, and center, and twist. Good enough. Lift, and center, and down with the hands. I hope your hands or are, are, are shoulders or upper body feel some of that. I know that I do. Let's bring those feet in front. We're going to roll down nice and slow. Decurve the back. Feel yourself. Control your down. Let's pick those legs up, and they're coming over the head. Now, if you can't, Bring them over the head. This is called jackknife. And all you have to do is bring them up and down. Just practice this one. Okay? Everybody else, we're going to take those legs straight. We're going to lift over. Exhale. Now we're going to reach to the sky. We're going to carry it down. Let's try more. 
I hope you're doing your little lifts. If you're not doing the jackknife, do your little lifts because you're activating the same muscles that we are on that lift. In your low back, your belly. Okay, you guys keep jackknifing. I'm gonna do some little lifts. Here we go. Feel it? Even if you can, even if you can't get your hips up, just feel the oomph like your like your body's you know efforting. That's what we want. Okay, let's rest it there. Let's keep those legs up then. And we're gonna scissor just like it looks. When you lift that head, look at your thighs. Don't look up. Nod your head, lift, look at your thighs, hold the leg and pull, pull. Another great hamstring stretcher. If you've got some soreness, then you wanna let it rest. You can't pull hard on it until it feels ready, right? Good. So exhale every other. Inhale, push that belly down. Feel that rib cage press down. Get yourself looking forward as best you can. Good job, excellent. Let's do one more. Legs up, knees in, rest your head. Bravo, one foot at a time comes down on the chest. We're coming up into a bridge position now. This one is great for strengthening your back, which is your core, right? Let's come up one vertebrae at a time, touch it, tucking the tail first. Here we go, inhale. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your tail, exhale, bring those hips up. All right, so we bring the heels under the knees. Bring the knees together and then separate them only three inches. Don't want those knees apart. Check yourself, okay? Because we want to correct these imbalances, right? We want to fix this body and make it better. Let's come up for upper abdominal curls, sort of rolling up and crunching. Take the arms back, inhale. Here we go. And as we're coming up, we're looking at the legs. See that they're not spread apart. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, arms back. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your tail. So we're really tucking that tail on these. One more like that in. Well done. Two and three and four. Palms down, lower your head. Now let's really get those shoulder blades squeezing together so you can lift up the chest. You got a straight line from the shoulder to the hip to the knee. Now we're gonna, if you like, hands held together underneath you, if that feels good. Straighten out that left leg and just hold it there. Hold it there, or if you like, you can make circles with me. The second level challenge on this one, okay? So circles. What do you feel? Breathe. You feel the other side supporting that. That's what we're working. All that weight is doubled and working into your low back, your hips, your glutes on the other side. That was good. Then place it down. Get those hips back up. All right, you know what we're gonna do? Straighten the other leg up. And if you can, slow circle with me. Alexa, line five. Nice song, huh? Stabilizing, left side. Good, real good. Then, Place it down. Let's get those hips up. We're gonna do one more. This one, we point up and flex down. Straighten that left leg, lift it. Now flex your foot and bring it almost to the floor. Kick it up again. Push down with that supportive leg. Okay, feel that lift. Exhale, keep that right leg pushing, right foot pushing down hard to support that side. You're really exercising that. Press, exhale. Put your foot down, get the hips back up. Good, you're almost done. Other side, straighten that other leg. Lift, push your heel, exhale, almost to the floor. Beautiful, I love watching my ladies. Kristen has these beautiful long legs. Looking great. All right, let's do three more. Three, exhale, push your heel to the floor. Two, honestly, she looks really great. Now we do one, we push. She's such a happy woman. Put your foot down, lift the hips thankful woman that's what she is all right so we're in our bridge now we want to articulate that might be a new word for some of you articulate through the bones of the spine to come down we inhale exhale push into the shoulder blade area tuck the tail feel yourself slowly lower your spine one verb at a time now it doesn't actually come down that way but it's a great exercise for spine mobility let's roll to the side now guys Okay, so we're gonna come into our leg movements. Hands in the 
like to have something under me because I sweat a lot now and I really want to not get sticky on the mat. Bring your legs forward. I'm going to start with my friend Constance's favorite. All right, shoulder forward a little bit. Put your hand on the mat. Squeeze your legs. Be the ballerina on the jewelry box. Bring those legs forward. We're going to lift and we're going to carry it down. It is harder than it looks. So lift and carry it down. Now what's going to happen is you'll probably roll out to the side. I want you to try to keep this lateral and not too high. Okay, so we're really kind of activating the inner thigh and that lower leg to lift it, right? If you feel awkward, remember, this is about recognizing imbalances. This isn't about doing it perfectly. It is a progress, Pilates is progressive. It doesn't matter how old or young you think you are. All right, those were good. Let's take big, slow circles now, stretch. This is a stretch. It's meant to stretch and strengthen the leg. One thing we need to do is pull that leg back. We need to stretch through the front of the leg more. A lot of people are really too tight up through the hip flexor area and through the quads. So I want you to reach back. So we're switching direction with each of these beautiful big slow circles. Big huge radius, reach behind you. Good, bringing it together. Let's point up and flex down, reach. Don't let the hip come back. I want you to keep them stacked on each other. Here's a way not to do it. So if you lean back, you can lift it higher, right? But then you're not getting the benefit, okay? Let's do one more and then we're gonna kick forward. All right, we pause, we do two little taps, and we reach back. This one is all about stabilizing the top of the body. Don't let anything move, okay? So the, in other words, don't lean back and then lean forward. We're gonna keep it stable. This is sort of robotic type movements. We're really trying to move perfectly here. It's all about control. Let's do a nice quad stretch here. It always feels good. Reach back, bend the knee. Hold the ankle if you can reach it. We're gonna enjoy a quad stretch. Look at your knee. Is it up here? Bring it down and align it with the hip. For a nice, even stretch for those three beautiful long muscles in the front of the thigh. Bring that hip forward. Breathe completely. I'm counting for 30 seconds. I've got a cheat clock here. My studio's in Canton, Michigan, South Canton. Feels good to stretch that. Oh, Kristen and I had a really great class on Friday. Thank you. Was it Friday? Yeah. It was Friday. 30 seconds of a quad stretch. Release it now. Let's add some oblique uh, sort of crunches here. First, we're going to do sort of like that thigh master from Suzanne Summers. We're going to lift and lower the leg here. What we're doing is stabilizing the hip moving out away and bringing it down. Okay, we're not rolling back to open it up more. Stabilizing the torso. Okay, let's hold that open. Put your hand in front and we're gonna lift your entire hips. Keep the knees open. We're doing a lift and lower. Crunch. I want you to feel that tension and even cramping in your obliques. I feel a little bit of cramping in there right now. And four. Five, keep it sideways, don't roll to your back. Seven, feel it, eight, good, good enough. Let's roll to the tummy now. Lovely exercises here, we're gonna get stronger. Come up on your forearms, we're gonna do a couple of head rolls and release the day. So, when we're here, tight glutes, lift that tummy, keep your legs straight out behind you. Remember, alignment is key. Now we're gonna also lift up between the shoulder blades, looking at your relaxed hands, Turn the head to the side, turning at the ear and the jaw, breathe in and drop and blow across the chest, growing through the back of the neck, slowly feel what you feel, adjusting the neck, lifting, inhale, drop and blow across, releasing the day, feel it, one more set, make it count, drop and roll, lift, Good, stay right here, keep yourself very tall, and lift it. We're gonna bend the knees and tap, tap, tap. 
some of us, and tap, tap, tap. We can't really hold that leg for the quad stretch, so we want to give ourselves a different one. Quad stretch is really important for soccer. Okay, now if you like, you can do point, flex, point, and then come down. Inhale, toe, heel, toe, lift up between the shoulders. No slouching. Form is everything, right guys? One, two, three, let's do one more. Toe, heel, toe, and down. Now we need to stretch that out, but we're gonna do some other work first. Bring your body down. I made the mistake of telling a lady that she didn't have any ass. <laughs> And she's, she's thin, and she had sort of a small rear end. And I like to see um, more muscles there, because it's better for the back. So we're gonna do one that's really good for those muscles. We're gonna do heel beats, rest yourself down. I already apologize, I hope I didn't offend her. Rest yourself down, we're gonna lift the legs, flex the feet, and tap them. Tap your heels. Now the goal here is to really press your pubic bone down and to push through the heels, keep the legs straight. I want you to stretch yourself here. Upper body is fine. You don't have to do anything there. Feel the beat of the music. Breathe. Push. You don't have to go fast. Make yourself go the pace that's comfortable for you. A couple more breaths. Strong. Stabilizers, that's what we want. Good job, rest your legs down. Now we're gonna stay right here, straight from the back with our diamond lift like I always do, forehead on the mat. Bring your shoulders down, we're making the shape of a diamond, but it's gotta be a big diamond, right? Put your feet on the floor, we're lifting. Exhale up, two, three, four, lower. Up, two, three, four, let's do six more. Two, three, four. Four more. Two, three, four. Lift, lift, lift. Good. Up. Two, three, four. Good enough. Let's do one more. We're going to do one called breaststroke, which is exactly how it sounds. Breaststroke is um, a swimming stroke, right? So we're going to just mimic that here. Put your hands by your cheeks, point your toes, squeeze your glutes so you're becoming very engaged all down through the body, okay? We're gonna reach forward, stretch, then we're gonna exhale and lift that body. Right here is where you gotta feel that tightness coming into your lats in the mid-back. Hands at the face, reach forward, push. When you lift up, you're looking down at the mat, you're not lifting the jaw, hands at the face, reach. Lift, tight back, good. Hands at the face, reach. Exhale, press, strong lift. This isn't just like a floppy arm swing. Really pressing and lengthening here. So we push those arms up, push the shoulders down, and really pull everything back. Let's do one more. Hands at the face, reach, push, and we lift. All right, excellent. Good for the back, good for you. Bring your knees up under you, and take your seat down to the heels. Give your back a nice rest. You don't want to carry that tension. We created it. Now we allow it to release. For some big breaths in. Oh, yes, and let it go. Letting go, letting go. That is a good thing to do. Let go of any silly thing, anything of the past, anything that's niggling on you. Just, it's over. Let it go. Let's do that two more times. In. And release. Wish them well, right? Wish them well. Wish yourself well, right? Let's come up now. Make a Z curve. Roll up slow. Look down. Stack those vertebrae. Now we're going to do one of my favorites is our upside down push up. Look at the legs. <laughs> Some people really keep me on my toes, and I appreciate it. So, but we're going to do our backward push-ups, which are great for the arms, upper body, flatten the tops of the feet, press, we go, two, three, four, lower, push it up, two, three, four, six more, two, three, four, lower, press, two, three, four, let's do four more, three, four, 
four. You can even pulse. Two, three, four. Pushing that chest up for two more. Two, three, four. Lower and good. Two, three, four. Sit down and flex your feet. Let's reach forward and let that go. Some of you who know me know that I have a, a lot of funky back issues and I really need that release part. But you know, we all do. You have to let the back relax. Breathe into it. Feel yourself breathe into it. Oh my goodness. And you know, your kidneys are right there. Amazing part of the body working so hard every day. So much blood going through there. Releasing toxins. And you've got your adrenals right in here. Just loving them. Loving all parts of the body. Let's roll up and sit tall. We're going to do a little bit more with just really throwing that head forward before we continue. Okay? Let's sit tall and bring that chest up and forward. If you cannot straighten your legs while your back is straight, like a 90 degree angle here, then I want you to bend your knees a little bit. For example, if you're here and you can't get straight, just bend your knees a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. Hands behind the head. Everyone else, straight legs if you can. Throw the forehead forward, down, and roll up, and sit. Roll up, and sit. And throw that forehead down. Feel it? Now down, roll up, and tall. Now really throw the chest out. Open, two more. Roll up and open. Roll up and tall. And open those arms. And you are so open through the chest. You feel it. That's how you want to live. You want to open the chest and be proud of the body. All right, let's bring ourselves to the other side. We're going to do our leg movements. We're going to stretch our beautiful quads. We're going to work into our obliques, crunching into those. Bring the legs forward in front of you. Bend at the hip. Not a straight line. Hand in front. Engage your legs, point your toes. We're going to do 10. We lift and we carry it down. Lift. Pick it up. Lower. These are hard. Four. Five. Kristen makes it look for the six. Seven. I really appreciate these, these ladies. They help me to feel good. Every time I see them, I get so uplifted. Good. Is that 10 then? One more. Big circles. Stabilize the hip. Reach forward. Reach up. Now reach way back. Really stretch it. Now change direction. Reach back as far as you can. Bring it up and around. Pause. So we're painting that perfect, very large circle all the way around. Reach back. And lovely. Bring it down. One more set together. Reach. Pull it away, lengthen the leg across the room. Feels good, back and down. And we're gonna point up and flex down. We lift, push and lengthen across the room. So roll those ankles, strengthen them. I haven't seen too many ankle sprains lately. That's good. We gotta keep them strong by rolling them, flex and point, whatever it takes. Let's do one more. Now keep that foot flat. We're gonna tap forward two. Tap, so we're going to reach back. Now the girls in here are going way up with that kick, and they're going way back because they are very stable and flexible. But what you want to do is keep, only kick so far as you can keep that torso stable, okay? Because the goal is stability. It's not how far you kick. Let's do a couple more. Then we're going to hit our nice quad stretch, which I love. All right, good enough. Bend the knee behind you. Hold. Feel it. Oh yeah, you know the body is so fascinating and it's so complex. We'll never know the body, but it's good to try, right? Don't give up. You have to try to get to know your body. It's an endless, endless, endless journey. But enjoy it. This body is made for us to enjoy. It is. God made it for us to enjoy. Stretch right up through the front. We're lengthening there. We're feeling it. Did it feel different from the other side? Did you feel any imbalance? It's good to recognize that. Pay attention, right? All right, reach back. Bring those legs together. Now, did we go right into the clamshell? Was there any more? No, that's it. Yeah, so let's bring the knees up to the navel. 
And we're going to begin by point your toes and open and close. Now, if anything is going to start cramping up in the feet here, um, it's this exercise. So if you start cramping up, it's okay. It happens. You know, there's hydration, there's potassium. I'm kind of saving much more potassium than bananas. <laughs> That's my little thing I always say. Oh boy, so we've got this thigh master going, right? Suzanne Summers. Hold the knees open, hand in front. We're crunching the obliques. Lift and crunch. Carry the apparatus down. Lift and lower. <sighs> breathe any way you want. Just breathe, right? In this one. Some of them have to breathe a specific way. But there are a lot of styles of Pilates. Let's do two more. We've got one and two. Woohoo, down you go. Let's come up on our side now. And let's just go right into a spine twist since we're already here, less transition time. Take the arm over the head. From here, we're gonna push that hip away. We're gonna lengthen through the side of the body. Bring that bottom rib forward slightly. Keep your chin up. Keep your elbow over your ear if possible and straighten your arm. Did you know over 50 women lose the ability to reach and straighten their arms over their heads? Why? Because they don't do it. <laughs> so when we do it, we're not going to lose it, right? We're going to keep releasing that fascia and keep those muscles working. Good. Now we're going to twist this. Twist the wrist, bend the elbow, turn into the back. And we're going to rotate the spine from the neck all the way down into the pelvis. Breathe in. We're also stretching through the shoulder blade area. I like this one because it's very powerful rotation. Very, very powerful. Good enough. Let's reach the arm up. Now we're going to really open the chest. We're going to look up and open that chest. We get tight in the deltoid, pectoral, front of the chest area. We want to lengthen it, open it. Bring the arm back and forth for a really nice mouth facial release. Do you feel it in your hand? I always feel a little tingle. Releasing there and sometimes through the shoulder area. Feels good. We're also going to use the roller for this at the end. Good enough. Let's bring the hand down. All right, let's bring ourselves to the other side. Make sure we cover both sides. So we're sitting tall. Two legs are to one side. Taking the arm over the head. Just a thorough side stretch. Now, if you see what I'm doing with my hips, I'm pushing my hip away from me. What I'm doing, I'm pushing it away. This causes even more stretch in the obliques area. Arm is over the shoulder, over the ear. Breathe, stay. Bring that bottom rib forward very slightly. Ooh, do you feel anything in the shoulders? All right, let's add that twist. Wrist, elbow, shoulders, turn. What are you feeling? What feels different one side to the other? Because usually if you haven't done Pilates before, you're noticing simple, small imbalances. Over time, breathe. Stay rotated. Over time, we keep addressing all the same things. We all get symmetry in the body. Let's bring that arm up. And we are gonna practice opening that chest. I remember when I first did this, I felt very tippy. I didn't feel stable. There's a lot going on here. You've got to stabilize in order to hold your body open this much. The other thing that's going on here is you're really open and you're giving this kind of a position of openness and even just being open to God, open to the universe, open to life. It's a fantastic position. So let's be grateful right now. Now that we're in this position, wonderful. We are thankful. We are thankful. Let's bring that hand down. Oh, boy. Do you guys have any requests? I have a couple things. Something else for the abs. That's one. Oh, okay. Yeah, More abs? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Very good. Let's go all the way down on our back. Ab work. This is what we want, right? Oh, my gosh, yes. Bring your knees into your chest. Tuck your chin and lift your head. We're going to do the double leg stretch, ladies. Now, before we do it, we want to condense this belly like never before. Really bring the ribs down and the shoulders down and hug yourself towards your thighs. 
Put your hands at your cheeks. Stay looking at your thighs. Reach them away and then wrap them up. Now, if you're really good, like Kristen and Constance, you're going to reach those legs down and low. But I'm not doing that because the lumbar spine needs to remain connected to the mat for all eight of these. Four. Notice I'm not looking up. Five. Beginners, here we are. Six, straight up. Seven, straight up. There you go. Eight. And good. Lower the head. Roll your head back and forth. You don't want to retain any tension there. One foot at a time comes down. Now we're going to do the roll up, which is really good ab movement. But I'm going to ask that um, if you feel confident, if you've done Pilates before, I want you to go ahead and bend one knee and straight the other. We're going to do five roll-ups reaching up. If not, I just want you to come forward and just do as much of an upright curl as you can and come down with us, okay? That way you'll be doing something. Straighten one leg, take the arms back, we breathe. Exhale up, up we reach, we reach the arms back, we come down. The rest of you, just stamp in your upright curl and then come down with us, like this. And then come down with us, two more. Lift, reach back, carry it down. Exhale, last one here, lift, reach back. I love that one, very challenging. Okay, straighten the other leg, squeeze your knees together. We're gonna do five on this side, it's a three point movement. Everyone else, come up and upper up, curl and weight, and then roll down. Inhale. Arms forward, nudge your head, a little lift. And back, and carry. Two. Reach. Back. Carry. Down. Three. I'm going to do my last two, like I want the beginners to do. Here we go. Up. Reach. Back. Carry. Down. Last. Reach, back, carry it down. All right, let's join all together for the next one. One knee at a time comes all the way into the chest. One knee at a time to protect that low back for some of us. Take your left leg up or way down here if you're more experienced. I'm gonna go up here. Outer hand, ankle, inner hand, knee. Nod your head, curl up, look at your thighs. Pull and pull. Really great. This is one of those exercises that is kind of quintessential to Pilates. This is what people think Pilates is. I guess they're right. What we want to do is breathe every other one. So we go. Inhale. Look at the thighs. If your neck hurts, rest. Don't keep pushing through any pain, right? You don't have to do that. All right, Ethan, rest your head up now. That's great. We're going to do one more. Now we're going to have to switch it up. Let's do, are you guys okay with doing the slow crisscross? I like it. I really like it. Okay, this mimics an exercise I'm sure you've seen on TV before. We have to slow it down. We have to slow it down because you get much more benefit. So both knees are in. Tuck the chin. Come on up like we did. Prepare by condensing that belly. We're going to take one leg out. This time, fingertips go into the back of the head to support it. Elbows back. Twist up toward the bent knee. Slow switch and lift. See, slow switch and exhale. Slow switch and inhale. Slow switch and whew. Now some of us are bringing our leg way down, okay? Some of us are bringing it up here. You have to decide what feels best for you. Now I'm already feeling that really nice little achy, crunchy feeling in my obliques as I lift and hold that. Exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Let's do the three pulses. One, and two, and three. Switch, inhale, 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 switch. Two more sets. And one, and two. Inhale and exhale, lay your head down. One foot at a time comes down. Let's roll that 
the head back and forth. Imagine this gets very heavy on the boulder. Now, if you're pushing your fingernails into the back of the head, then you are able to support the weight of the head, which is important because you don't want to strain your neck. The muscles are very small. Let's roll to the side then. And we're going to push up. All right, any more suggestions of stuff you guys want to do? I was going to try to do a little bit advanced legs because I think it's really good just to do leg movements for soccer players. And I really like these. So come on by on your knees. And if it feels awkward, that's okay. But if it feels painful, it's not for you. Okay, not right now anyway. Okay, so don't, don't push through any pain. If your knees are bothering you, go ahead and put a couple towels under or a couple mats. Make some cushion for them. Okay, let's take one leg out. We're going to put one hand down. I better move over so we get better visual. Okay, for you. Hand behind the head. Lift the leg up. Now we're going to make little circles here. Oh, stabilizing the torso. You okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're lengthening out, trying to make that leg lift with each one. At first, it's very awkward. These are great. Let's change direction with it. Lift, lift, lengthen, reach it. Good, good, breathe. Four, three, two. Now take a break or keep it up. Flex your foot, and we're going to reach it forward and we're gonna reach it back. So we're stabilizing the torso, just like we did when we were laying on the mat. And reach. And reach. Let's just do two more. You can do it. You're great, you're trying. That's all that matters, right you guys? Just trying. All right. That was hard. Congratulations if you tried, okay? All right, so let's shimmy over to the other side. We're gonna bring that leg out. Put your hand on the floor. Hand behind the head, lift that leg up. And we're gonna circle it. So we're breathing and kicking up with each one. Ooh, does it feel different from the other side? Woo-hoo! All right, let's change direction. Reach, this is my um, titanium hip here. Working well, very thankful, 2019, I think, or 18, I forget now. Four, three, two, hold, flex, forward, and back. Try not to bend the knee, and back. Exhale, and back, and forward, and back. Let's do two more, forward. Beautiful, Kristen. Again, bravo. All right, we're gonna do a little more chill. We're gonna land a roller. If you guys want to grab one of these buddies over here. Alexa, play my Pandora meditation radio. Sorry about the Alexa. It works well. Can you hand me one? Thank you. Okay, so this is what you want. Anybody over 50 or 45 should have one of these. Now, I'm certified to teach relief through rolling, so we're not exercising anymore. We're doing a form of self-massage that's gonna really help you. So we're gonna start, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna sit. First, we're gonna open the chest, and we're gonna do one more. We're gonna sit on the tip, just put your tailbone on there. The white rollers are best. The black ones are too hard, and the other brand is too squishy. So let's come down nice and slow onto the roller. And we're just gonna lay here. That's all we're gonna do. So we're gonna go from a place where we were kind of working hard and challenging ourselves, right? Now we're gonna go to a completely different place, the place of release. Muscles are releasing now. Let's take some breaths that are nice and slow. Knees are spread apart. You feel your thighs and your quads and your hips and your glutes heavy and rested. Your feet are rested. You just got this nice, balanced, letting go feeling. The muscles are becoming heavier. Simply by this position and by slowing the breath, we are signaling our brain to do a lot of hormone things, a lot to do 
is relaxing. Right now we're learning all about the endocrine system and the functional matrix, functional nutrition, counseling, and it's the most complicated, but the most beautiful. And what we do is we control that, a lot of those signaling messengers with our brain, with how we're thinking. So right now we're feeling good, we're feeling together with each other, feeling safe, we're feeling proud, our body's feeling relaxed. And I want you to relax that belly and bring your focus down there. Just bring it into the belly, loving that belly. Everything's working to make us feel good. Now we're going to push the breath down in there. Feel it rise. Hold it. Hold everything, nice and big, the entire cavity. Release it slowly. Kind of like a flat tire, like shh. You're releasing evenly and slowly, and as long as you can until you feel no more air. Stop and let your body rest without breathing. Feel the quiet of it. Then we can take the next one in when we are ready. We're going to bring the focus up into our upper body, our chest, shoulders. We're going to feel it open. We'll go ahead and drag your arms up a little higher to make a T shape with your arms. And don't drag them too high, just to the point at which you can really relax here. The point is to relax and allow the stretch. It's completely different from holding and pulling on that muscle. We're breathing into it. We're letting it lengthen. We're letting it relax and lengthen. Breathe. And we drop a air out. So essentially what we're doing is we're lengthening the muscles in the front and we're letting the muscles around the shoulders condense a little bit, right? To create that balance in the upper body like Constance has achieved. There are other things we can do with this, but I wanted to take it through one more uh, release through rolling exercise. So to get off the roller, Pick up one arm and bring your body all the way down onto the floor. Then come up. That's really the easiest way to get off the, the roller. Next one, before we let you go, I really want you to do this one. It became my all-time favorite until I didn't need it anymore because <laughs> I was doing it so much. Hands touching the end of the roller. You guys know what I'm going to do. And we're going to lift up our seat, our butt. Lift it up. We're going to set our sacrum right on the squishy middle part of the roller. We're going to hold the roller in place. Now, some proportions of people can't reach the roller very well. Do the best you can. Sometimes you can get a partner to help you. Now, our legs are relaxed. They're not in any kind of alignment. Don't worry about any of that. Just releasing. Now, you feel that weight coming down into the sacrum. That sort of feels good. We're going to add to that. Inhale. Exhale. Pick up your left knee. Just bring it lazily towards you. And then we're going to bring the right knee. Exhale. Relax the air of the mouth. So bring your knees gently together. Now feel where is the weight going? Your weight is massaging you right now. It's squishing the muscles right around the sacrum and the connective tissue there. Let's bring the knees ever so slightly over to the right. I'm talking about a half an inch. And some of you will suddenly feel quite the, um, the sweet spot where you really can release a lot of tension in the top of the back of the hips near the sacrum. So your knees are up. You should not have, have any stress in the legs. They're just, you're just using them for dead weight. Your knees are over to the left a little bit. Notice how I'm starting to move a little bit just ever so ever so lightly back and forth on that left side of the sacrum area. Now bring the knees a little bit forward and back and you are isolating 
pressure, breathe into what is often a tight area for people. So this might be for you really fantastic. It might be kind of nothing. You decide, but for me, this area was a fantastic way to loosen up my hips, let me have more of a long, open stride for running and walking, which is key. Key for the rest of your life. All right, so we want to feel that. Now, if you find a sweet spot, like you're getting a massage, breathe. If you find a sweet spot here, just stop right in that spot and breathe. The less effort, the better. I actually feel a tingle in my foot from the pressure that's happening way up here. So you might feel related pressure, related tingling, things happening. Just feel it, pay attention. Your body wants to talk to you. All right, for the sake of time, we're gonna bring it back to center. Make sure you feel comfortable here. You're able to hold the mat, your knees are forward in front of the hips. Okay, you don't want that pressure on your back. Bring them slightly, ever so slowly to the right, breathing. So the knees are forward. And we're just feeling inside, even visualizing, oh, what is the dead weight of my heavy body, my lower body, squishing right now? What is it squishing? Oh, something right at the top of my hip, right near my sacrum area and low lumbar area, in that pelvis. Notice any tingling? Notice any just pleasure massage where you find a spot that just feels good? When you do, you just relax and breathe. judyfarmer.com and check out my Pilates schedule. You can message me uh, to find out which class would be best for you to start with. Also, I'm a functional nutritional co nutrition counselor and I have a keto class every so often. I've, I've got one running right now, so uh, next one is in November. And if you want to do a free consultation for uh, to find out what's right for you, keto isn't for everyone, uh, just uh, sign up on the consultation button. I think it's yellow. And you and I can talk confidentially about where you're at right now in your next few steps. That's all I can do, right? Give you a couple steps. So functional nutrition gets to the root cause. We don't, we can't do quick fixes anymore. We're too old for that. We have to figure it out. So let's get to the root cause and feel better and stay playing soccer for longer. Have a peaceful night. Thanks, guys. Good. Thank you.